Hi, it's Kevin. Thank you so much for coming by for the No BS Social Media Chat. We're not only talking about social media today, we're, we're kind of talking about life. And the one thing I've seen that holds true to social media and holds true to life, we're all looking for the quick fix, the one size fits all solution. Now, being a big guy, I can tell you there is no such thing as one size fits all when it comes to life or clothing or oh, anything for that matter. And the same holds true for social media. You know, with some of my music business clients, we talk about the fact that in the old days, there may have been almost a set pattern, a set way of doing things that was the path of least resistance, the easiest way to succeed. Was it the only way? No, but it was a nice template for you to have success, whatever that may be. Well, as digital technology has taken hold, as social media has gained an acceptance, the one thing we've seen is, is and we joke, we're all now custom tailors where you can buy a suit off the rack and it's as close to being a one-size-fits-all solution, even though that's not really one size, but it's as, it's as simple a solution as you can find to whatever your needs are. But is it really the right solution? Uh, I've got a client well, a conference call, I guess you'd say, coming up here, and we're talking just about that this week. We're talking about one-size-fits-all not being the right way to go. There are a lot of companies who do what I do out there who will tell you, here's our system. Our system will help you gain this, that, and the other thing. And, and you know what? It may work. It may give you the desired results you want. But is it the right solution? Is it the most cost-effective solution? And more importantly, is it the solution for you? I've always taken the approach of each situation is different. I took that same approach when it came to radio stations. The one problem I was always told that people had a hard time competing against me at other radio stations is they couldn't look at my past history at other radio stations in other towns to see a pattern of how I did things. And it's true because there was no pattern. I came into each individual radio station understanding its unique situation, its unique marketplace, its unique competitors, and, and created a custom fit template. Little did I realize that a decade, almost two decades plus later, I'd be doing the same thing when it came to social media. Are we the biggest social media agency around? Not even close. We're probably one of the tiniest. There are a lot of people doing the one or two person thing just like we are. But what's more important to me is that you find the right fit. You find the fit that works for you. I feel that same way when I see the, when I see the sign that says, you know, that shirt is one size fits all. Well, I know really what that means is one size fits most people of normal size. And if you're bigger than normal size, well, you can forget it. When it comes to shoes, when it comes to socks, one size fits all. No, it doesn't. And, and I've learned to accept that because of my size. And I want you to, well, not learn to accept it, but understand that when it comes to your social media. And think, well, this strategy, whether you're engaging with a social media person or not, well, it doesn't really matter. Even if you're just doing it on your own and you see something that someone you admire, a similar business, a similar celebrity, personality, whatever you want to consider yourself, a similar personal brand, if you will, are doing, is that always the right solution for you? Just because every radio station does it this way, does that mean your radio station needs to do it that way? Just because every jewelry store does it this way, does that mean you need to do it that way? Just because every recording artist needs to do it this way, do you do it that way? And while the answer could be, well, sure, why not? In reality, the answer is always no. I need to do what's right for me. I'm a unique individual. I'm a unique business. I'm unique, and I have unique needs and a unique strategy. And it all plays into what time do you have, who do you have around you, and more importantly, your fan base, who you're trying to appeal to. Because at the end of the day, what you're trying to do is you're trying to reach, reach the greatest amount of people possible with the least amount of effort. Sure, you want to put in the time. You put in the time and you get the results, but at the same time, you don't want to just be feel like you're, you're spinning your wheels. You don't want to feel like you're putting in so much more effort than what you're getting back that it's not worth it. And I think that's, that pertains to, like I said, social media as well as life. So don't be fooled by a one-size-fits-all solution. Now, sure, you can take things that other people do and, and put that into what you're looking to do with social media to grow your social media following. You can incorporate lots of different ideas. You can test them out. We've talked about testing things out before. Try something, and if it works, keep doing it. If it works and then stops working, throw it away and do something else. The key is to, is to grow, and you're going to have ebbs and flows. You're going to have ups and downs, but over a course of a long term, and again, long term is tentative, it's the best strategy to have. I highly advise it. Back next week, another No BS social media video. Back for you. You can always, of course, find us online, intensitysocial.com, the main website, intensitymedia.com. Of course, if you want to get a hold of me, you want to talk more about it, again, absolutely free of charge. There, we're not going to try to give you the strong sales pitch or anything like that. My phone number, 
my email address. They're all coming up. More videos next week, Facebook, YouTube, on the website, wherever you found us this week. Come on back next week for the OBS social media chat. Thanks.